Hey guys, Tech Dimension with a video for you guys. In today's video, we're going to show you how to temporarily deactivate your Apple ID or iCloud account so that it's temporarily deactivated and you will not have access to the iCloud services or Apple services. So let's get started. So before you can actually do that, the first thing you want to do is actually back up your device if you want to kind of save it to make sure that you don't lose anything during the process. In order to do that, you can back out I back up to your iCloud account by simply going to settings and then your name here and then iCloud and then you see the option here and then you want to do iCloud backup by clicking over here and then click this option to backup now and you can, if you don't have enough space on your iCloud backup you can also back it up onto your MacBook or your PC by using iTunes and back it up there so once you backed up for sure the next thing you want to do is download any kind of apps that you want to keep on your iPhone to use because once you uh, deactivate your Apple ID you will no longer be able to download any apps so it's good to download any apps games even music uh, anything that you want while you have your Apple ID account the next thing you want to do is uh, Kind of take a look at some of the services that you have subscribed to. So if you have subscription here in your settings, you want to make sure that you're okay with your Apple ID being in, uh, temporarily deactivated because those services well, will no longer be available for you to renew while your account is deactivated. The next thing you want to, of course, do is go ahead and sign out of your Apple account on all the devices that have that same Apple ID account. So in our case, this one, it'll show you here all the devices that the account is being used on. Like here, we have iPad, we have iPhones, you might have a MacBook or Apple Watch. Simply go on each one and then you're going to want to sign out to each one by going into settings and the name of your Apple account and then the sign out option. And once you click on that, it's going to ask you for your password word and then you're going to turn it off it might even ask you for a two-factor authentication to make sure that you're signing out correctly and once you've signed out all of your devices you want to go into a browser like safari here or any browser that you have and you're going to go to the website called privacy.apple.com it's apple's website to manage your apple account so again privacy.apple.com you're going to go there and once you go there it's going to um, ask you to sign in here. So for our one, we're just going to enter our passcode here to sign, let's see, to get into our, our Apple account ID here. And once you do get in here, it's going to say manage your data. What you can do is as an extra safety here, if you want to go ahead and request the download of your copy of your data, that's always good to do before you temporarily disable your account. Or you can transfer your data to some other um, participating services you can look into that but if you just want to temporarily disable your account here as you can see here it will pause the activity on your account and restrict access to your data you won't be able to access your data or any apple apps or services while your account is deactive either or inactive so keep that in mind but you can then later on reactivate it at a later point of time if you want to it will not delete permanently it will temporarily just deactivate unlike the other method here so you click on that to request the deactivation and once you click on that as you can see here it's spinning here what's going to happen it's going to tell you some stuff that you want to read through of what's going to happen with things like iMessage, FaceTime, iCloud Mail like you won't be able to get those anymore and then all of this other thing around iPhone upgrade program so read through all of that and then also the things we mentioned about backing it up and signing out of your uh, iCloud account and web browser and then reviewing the subscription and once you have done that simply select a reason it could be any of this reason doesn't matter whatever you want and after you select a reason for example you can do any of that and hit continue here uh, it's gonna give you this code basically to store or save so that later on when you are ready to enact uh, reactivate your Apple account again you can use that code to reactivate it um, and that's about it about deactivating your Apple ID account temporarily so hopefully you guys found this quick little video helpful if so please make sure that like and subscribe button thanks for watching guys see you guys next time